And hello there, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Once again, time for some Ratchet and Clank. Jingle as always, you can probably hear her typing before she says hello. Very rude. Is Megan? Hi. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I, I forgot to mute your stream again, so I got a little confused again. Oh, Megan. Okay, that's fair. Okay, well, I'll let that one slide. Hold on, I need to adjust. I don't remember what my what my white balancing usually is. Okay, give me give me like just one second. Give me just one second, because uh, even though I said it, it apparently messed up my white balancing. So give me oh just uno momento. Like it looks fine. It looks fine. I just want to try to keep it consistent. Yeah. But I did aha take a screenshot uh, of what uh, I part. had it at one point. Okay, okay, that's okay, that makes sense. Okay. There we go. Uh, don't keep auto focus on. Yeah, I'll keep auto focus on, I guess. That that should do fine. Okay. Like I said, doesn't really matter, but I like to keep things consistent. Um, so firstly, hello, Bass Ackwards. Welcome back to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well today. Hey, Bass Ackwards. Uh, let's see. Bass Ackwards says, howdy. Don't know what I missed yesterday, but today and tomorrow I'm going to be busy visiting family. Just wanted to let you know. Thank you very much for letting me know. And thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, yeah, visiting family is always fun. So I hope you have a great time with that. Yeah, that does sound like it would be fun. It does. It does. I don't get to visit my family as much as I should. Or at least a family that, you know, one would kind of, I guess, be a bit more like, like, I, I do like some some portions of the my dad's side of the family, but eh, you know, not usually the greatest of people you want to be hanging out with. Um, and unfortunately, I don't really get to hang out with my mom's side of the family all that much. Oh. Elgato is frozen, which is fair. I figured it probably would be. Yeah, I like the 4K utility, right? But sometimes uh, you leave it on. It just doesn't want to work. I don't know why that is. I Means fair enough. Doesn't really matter. You stop it. You restart it. You're all good to go. No big. Yeah, that's still just really weird. I mean, it is, but it's no big. Yeah, too bright. There you go. Yes, I had to readjust my, my light again because I just felt like it. I felt like something was off. I don't know. It seems darker to me, but I don't know. No, it's weird. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. With my old webcam, it never reset it. But with Elgato, it's like, yeah, let me just reset your stuff briefly. So I think that would be all right, but eh, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Doesn't doesn't matter that much. I think it still looks okay. Megan, does it look okay? Opinions, thoughts? I can't see it because you didn't restream it. Megan, no, I mean on the stream, Megan. I'm not streaming my webcam to you. Okay, well, I wasn't sure. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it looks fine. Oh, Megan. Oh, hey. Megan. <laughs> Uh, okay, perfect. All right. Ah, yeah. So more Ratchet and Clank today. Uh, should be fun. Should be very fun. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to reset the audio for it. It's not too loud right now, but that did kind of remind me that I do need to reset the audio since I reset the Elgato. <laughs> that what? was fair. What? What? Oh, yeah, I just said that is fair. Uh, yeah, hopefully one day they make it so um, you can adjust the volume in the thing, but 
I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Megan doesn't like it, but I think it's fine. I just like to be able to adjust the volume in the client because my volume mixer is like really screwed up. So if I try to change it in the volume mixer, I essentially have the volume mixer down to like five out of a hundred. So I don't have as much range to change the volume basically. Yeah. No, my my white balancing is really 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 messed with me. I'm sorry. I, I know I'm fiddling with my webcam settings a bit too much. I don't know. It just looks off, but maybe it's not. It's probably not. It's probably just me. Probably just one of those instances of oh, you know, I see it so often that just one day it's like oh, well, look, it looks a little different when really it's not. You know. You ever have that Honestly, moment, Megan? I do that kind of thing a lot when it comes to like certain words that I type or I see written out because like eventually after you you see them or you say them enough they just sound or look wrong even if they're not yeah for sure right I think that's what happens with me with the webcam because I'm looking at it now and I'm like you know what actually yeah it looks fine it looks normal at least I think it does <laughs> but you know that, that's kind of the thing because like I'm trying to think of another instance where that happened Oops. Uh, where that happened. Where just one day I was like, oh, that thing's there. Never noticed that in, like, all the months that I've walked past that. You know, like that kind of deal. <laughs> See, Bass Ackward says, I feel like I always, like, accidentally type what unrelated things I hear. Yeah, yeah. The human mind is weird, man. It's strange, right? It's cool. And I like it, but it's strange. See, I'll oh. do that if I'm trying to, like, type and talk at the same time. Because, like, I'll usually end up saying something I'm trying to type. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to shoot for you, by the way. Sorry, Megan. Forgot about that. That's okay. Literally just came here, so it's fine. Or I guess I'm leaving. I guess I'm supposed to be leaving. This is this what I'm supposed to be? I don't remember. I think you just finished on the moon base here, so now you gotta go next place. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, that sounds about right. So there's nothing I can buy, I don't believe. Nothing new. Nah, I'll save my money. Best seconds is even something I'm saying. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Human mind's weird, for sure. Uh, was I was looking for the golden bolt here. That's what I was doing. That's why I didn't leave yet. Because it still has a golden bolt that I think you said I can get, right? Uh... Yeah, because I didn't actually get the one here. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I could look for it. So I haven't left the planet yet. And you're like, but man, I'm oh, hungry. Yeah. I was bugging you because it was late yesterday. Okay, I was like, I don't remember where the gold bolt on here is. So I'm like, I don't know if I told you you could get it. I assume you can. Yeah. I think Megan... you're kind of at the point of the game where, like, pretty much any gold bolt you run into, you'll be able to just grab. Probably. Megan did indeed help with uh, dinner last night, by the way. She de-skinned two pieces of chicken, which it's is very, gross. very well done. <laughs> I hate it. And then she didn't do any more, and then she laid down on the couch. <laughs> hey, I helped you grab the rice out of the cabinet after you... getting the potatoes that were bad. Yeah, you did discover the potatoes are bad, which is really good. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, uh... though, because we cooked the chicken, and, like, I don't know if it's just because of what happened, but it seemed like the two pieces that I skinned also looked like they were really almost overcooked. Compared yeah, to the rest of them? Yeah, I don't know what that was, to be honest. Because, like, I don't know. They almost, like, it was weird. Like, it was either overdone. Like, they looked undercooked. To me, it looked like what undercooked chicken would look like, right? Kind of pinkish, but like a darkish kind of pink, you know? Yeah. But I cut into it, and it was perfectly fine, and then I ate it. So it's like, I don't know. It's It's good, I guess. I don't know what it was. I've never seen it look like that. Maybe it was overdone. I, I have I absolutely no clue. 
<laughs> but see, I don't even know if those are the pieces of chicken that you de-skinned either, though. To be fair, I just said you did two, and coincidentally, there were two that looked like that. But I don't know I if those were the chicken that you did. I think one of them was for sure. I'm not sure about the other one. Good wrench throw. Thank you. Hmm. So again, just out of curiosity, do you know, do you remember where the golden bolt is? I'm not saying you no. gotta tell me, but I'm, I'm just curious if you remember. Um. No, maybe. I'm getting this confused with the other level, maybe, possibly. Maybe, possibly. <laughs> well, it's just, ah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I know of a gold bolt, and I can't remember if it was in this level we did yesterday or if it's in the one before that. No, it goes again. That's good. Mm. But, yeah. I mean, you could always look on your map and see if there's like a gray area that you haven't been to yet. That is true. I could do that. I mean, there's up there, I guess. Well, yeah, that might be where you got the ship for Quark, so maybe you can go back there and walk around. Maybe it's over there? Maybe? I don't know. I, I assume I can just keep going this way and I'll eventually get back there, right? Yeah, no, I think that's how you have to get back there, to be honest, but... Fucking robot chickens, man. <laughs> Suck yeah, ass. Yeah, they're kicking your butt. I really like the design of them, though. They're cool. I like them, too. They're nice. Even okay, if so there's nothing up here. Assholes. They are assholes for sure. That is the food of doot. But most small enemies that swarm you are in this game. Yeah. No, I imagine they probably use similar AI for pretty much all the small enemies, so they're kind of all assholes. Yeah. Double kill. That was pretty good. Thank you. Sometimes I can do something cool. Uh, let's see. Best hacker says, I checked out some of the stream and that planet and boss felt like a final boss, didn't it? After I left to make dinner, you mean the, uh, the one where you're, you're on the ship? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. It felt like a final boss. But yeah. it was not. <laughs> but it did feel good. It felt like a good boss fight. It is actually a really well done boss fight. And it's fun to be able to actually use the ship and not just shoot them with your normal guns, you know? Yeah, like, it, it is pretty cool. Like, I did like it. That guy's having a bad time. He's stuck. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> you trying to blow up the chicken? Uh, I was considering what to do with the chicken. <laughs> I didn't actually think that would hit me. I thought that I thought I was just out of range. Uh, oh, there we go. I thought you were just standing there trying to get the ship to shoot the things to kill it. No, nah, I was actually contemplating how to kill the chicken. I was like, okay, how can I do it without getting injured? <laughs> And then it didn't work, so. Eh. <laughs> so can I do something with this? No. I was going to say, if there's a skill point in this level, it's probably blowing either that up or blowing up all of these. Uh, you've got me curious, actually. I don't know. See, Bass Eckert says, uh, that's how you know it's good. I know, right? It was, it was, it was really nice. Like, admittedly, I don't feel like this game has had many boss fights. Like, just off the top of my head, I can think of that one. And the one with, like, the weird spider dude that I also wrenched to death. Yeah. But they both feel pretty good. Oh, and there was the guy on, uh, Umbris, the big giant guy. The lava circles when you jump, you had to like yes. lure him to lava. Yes, you're right. Yeah, that guy felt good too, actually. Yeah, no, honestly, they did a really good job with the boss fights in this game. Yeah, so far, no qualms with any of the boss fights at all. <laughs> but oh no, I'm just I'm just thinking of what uh, you're gonna have to experience in later games. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. <laughs> kind of hard to tell, to be honest. <laughs> I guess you'll find out. Yeah, going for it. 
There we go. Nailed it. Fast Slacker says Speaker. quality, not quantity, although both is nice. That's true. I mean, having both is nice, but yeah, you can't be too picky with that, you know? Yeah. I'm definitely uh, a quality over quantity kind of guy, though, for sure. Yeah, I've kind of changed. I used to really like quantity because I used to like the big open world games with lots to do, play it for hours and hours. Now I'm just like, I'd rather have a, a, a nice, well-crafted, like 10 to 15 hour experience than waste 80 hours in an open world game. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just find it funny how you went from, oh yeah, you're a big open world game to let's play League of Legends for multiple hours a day for years to now it's what you do now which i possibly influenced i mean yeah you and the frustration i had with league <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah uh, I, I guess it's also kind of why i don't really have a problem like when there's a bad like i shouldn't say bad but like a subpar humble bundle right where yeah. it's like, oh, you know, this month is kind of weak. You'd have a lot of people going like, oh, it's garbage. But for me, it's like, well, nah, I got like two pretty good games last month. It's pretty all right. Yeah, but most people think Humble Bundles are garbage if they don't have literally only AAA games and the newest stuff. Yeah, that's true. Because like there was even one like when they first changed it to Humble Choice where they had the Spyro and Crash games in there. Everyone said that one was really good. And then there was one after that that had like one of the Tomb Raider games in it. And they're just like, oh, this gar this bundle's garbage. It has a game from like five years ago. And well, it's just like, no shit. Of course, it's going to have older games. Can't give away all the good new games. Yeah, I guess that's kind of another, another thing too, right? Is like you'll have like maybe one or two like super good games and the others could kind of be seen as filler. But I don't really mind that. Because as we've seen by the Humble Choice polls, a lot of those are still really good, to be honest. Well, yeah, and I guess people more have an issue when it comes to something like PlayStation Plus because they're like, oh, we have all these good games, but they don't seem to realize that they're trying to never duplicate any kind of game. So, of course, you're going to have to put in some filler because there's only so many good AAA games you can give over the years through all the consoles, right? Yeah. So... Most of people don't understand when they skip for a while. They're like, oh, why didn't they give up this game? She's like, well, they did maybe like four years ago. <laughs> yeah, is this like a thing? I don't know. I don't remember. I think, I, I don't mean, know. It does lead over there, maybe. Maybe. It might it be might. lower than it, though. I mean, is it? Uh, I don't know. Is it supposed I mean, to be up there? I mean, the boxes aren't broken. Yeah, that must be near the end of the level. I guess you could go out and see. It probably doesn't hurt anything. But yeah, I don't know. I I guess one thing that the polls have certainly like shown me is uh, for sure yeah. is that, yeah, a lot of the games you get in the Humble Bundle that you might not really look at are actually kind of impressive. Look, look at Bee Simulator. I thought Bee Simulator is actually pretty good for what it was. It wasn't spectacular. But I had fun with it, and you know what? It was a pretty solid game, all things considered. Yeah, I mean, it looked pretty all right. I haven't played it. I, it's kind of funny because, like, I was collecting my Epic Games because they just changed over this week and they got Lawnmower Simulator next week. Uh, that's in this current bundle, isn't it? Lawnmower Sim? I don't quite remember. Maybe it is. Maybe I have been here. Yeah, I have. Okay. Wasn't that the way you were supposed to go, though? Is it? I don't know. I See, I thought... A, this must be just a side path so you can, like, get ammo and stuff. Yeah, but I mean, didn't I didn't I come from this way? Well, you came from, like, the little elevator that's back behind you over there. I mean, is that where I would have come from? I mean, I guess these things are alive. I don't know. Maybe you're right. So I think this is the way you're supposed to go towards the end of the level. Hmm. Yeah, 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 you're right. Okay. Thank you, Megan. You're welcome. Also, Bass Ackward says, I guess Epic kind of spoiled them. Epic did give out a lot of really good games, and they still kind of do. This week, not so great. Next week's okay. Last week wasn't too good. 
so they're, they're slowing down on it a little bit, but they give us some good stuff every now and then. Hey, the gunplay in this game is so bad. I'm kidding. It, it is kind of bad. <laughs> it's There's bit, no like auto lock. It's wonky. I shouldn't call it bad. That was mostly just like joking a bit, but certainly could be better. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Epic did give off, did give out like a lot of. You guys are trying. Did give out like a lot of pretty solid games in their early days. Yeah. Go, little guys. And I think, yeah, maybe that did spoil everybody. Because they were giving out like pretty good games from what I remember. Well, yeah, and there was a period of time where PSM was also giving some really good stuff. I think when the PS5 first launched, they were giving some good stuff. But now that everything's settled down, they're trying to, I guess, do a little bit less. Just to make sure they don't run out of good stuff to give over the months. Yeah, and it makes sense. Because yeah, you don't want to give away literally everything and then be like, oh, well. Now you don't have to buy any of our products because we literally gave you all of them. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's enough good products. It's more just like I said, they don't want to do duplicates. So just imagine you're like a PS Plus subscriber and then they keep doing duplicates. Like, well, I'm not getting anything for my subscription anymore. I'll cancel it. I mean, yeah, that's true. That's a, that's a good way of looking at it. Uh, Bass Harker says, I think the funniest was Control only like two months after the PS5 upgrade fiasco, but stuff like Borderlands 3 you're never gonna get from a bundle. <laughs> yeah. It gave out Control pretty quickly on Epic. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I don't really remember that much about Control, to be honest. I know you have it and you've talked about it a bit, but... Yeah, it's kind of an interesting game. I bought it on launch. I didn't actually get around to finishing it, though, on PS Plus. And then, like, a couple months after it came out, uh, Epic ended up giving away Control with the Ultimate Edition with, like, all the DLC and stuff. And they had a couple issues with their uh, PS5 upgrades, I think, where they weren't like giving you credit for it they're trying to make you buy the game again like it was, it was pretty bad for a bit oh it didn't look like it was gonna go that far it didn't look like it was gonna go that far either like for me it's gonna I, I forget it's controlled the one that's um very scp-esque i think so i don't it, remember it, it kind of takes place in like a, a secret facility and then you're playing as this girl I don't remember exactly what happens, but you find out you have like these superpowers and there's weird shit going on here. It's basically like a haunted facility type thing. You got like psychic kinetic powers and it has a lot of gunplay in it too. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's well, SCP-esque. Yeah, like it seemed cool. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it when I first played it. Everyone was talking about how the gunplay and everything was amazing and I'm like, yeah, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. Best Accurate says that's amusing. Not sure if it's going to be Power Washer Simulator. I need to play that. <laughs> uh, I think the funniest was Control only like two months after PS5 upgrade fiasco. Oh, you already talked about that. I did. I guess you already read that one. I don't remember reading one of a Power Washer some though, but I might have been a bit too busy trying to not die. No, it's okay. I think I accidentally skipped that one. Megan. That's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's like a CP. Okay, fair, fair. So again, I'm trusting you to read the stuff, Megan. I, I'm, I, I have faith in you. I have faith in you, Megan. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I'm not seeing a golden bolt here. I guess there could be one over here. Could be. Because I don't think I was able to walk on this. No, because it got you right into the cutscene where you got on the ship. Hmm. Yeah, so it, it looks like it probably should be around here somewhere. Where specifically, I don't know, but I feel like it should be. Yeah, I'll be honest, I don't quite remember. Hmm. <laughs> Fast Sacra says, we all have trouble reading sometimes. I just have trouble, like, skipping words or adding words when I'm doing something
Yeah, I, I will admit Megan is, is great But yeah, sometimes she will skip words in a sentence kind of funny So that's where you get like Wait, the gold what? stuff, huh? Am I not supposed I... to be here? <laughs> I didn't realize you could get up here that way Cause these are supposed to be like post game things. I remember there being like a little teleporter on Novalis that you went to to get them. Oh, really? Did I did a skiff? Neat. <laughs> Perhaps. I, I guess they must have. Maybe they just teleport you to this room or a similar room or. Maybe? I don't know. I don't remember ever coming up here. Oh, okay. Well, take huh. it <laughs> I just showed you something new. How about a game that, that you really like? Yeah. I'm surprised actually. Maybe, maybe it does give you a hint you can come up here. Maybe I just forgot, but I didn't know you could get up here before post game or new game plus, I should say. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I have no clue. All I did was uh, wall jumps. But I'm sad because there's no golden bolt up here. And that's literally <laughs> the only thing I was going for. Find something cooler is disappointed. Yeah, I mean, what, what, <laughs> what do gold <laughs> weapons mean to me, Megan? What do true, they mean to me? That's really funny though. Yeah, I don't quite remember where it is on this level. Like, unless it's back the way you came, like... I don't know. Because I know there was that section with like the, the lava going up and down. I don't know if it would be in there, maybe? That's hmm. the only other place I could really think of, because it's not like under the launch pad or in any of the other nooks or crannies from what I remember. Hmm. This is a tough one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, because where the hell is my gold bolt? I need that. Uh, let's see, maybe I can see it from, like, somewhere. Where could you be, Gold Bolt? Where could you be? Hmm. I guess I can't get back out this way, can I? Perhaps not. What's this? Some kind of ship. Is the gold bolt here? Probably not. Kind of funny. I mean, I can go out here. Hmm. Okay, I can't actually. Oh wait, no, I can jump. Can I? Can I jump out of that? No, I can't. I can jump off the wall. That I guess is there. I guess that's glass. I don't know. I guess that's a window. Not looking for a sealed. Um, hmm. Okay, there's something over here. Oh, that's where I came in. Okay. Yeah, I can't get out that way. Um. So I guess that is part of two different hidden rooms that you can get the gold weapons from. The mm -hmm. one on Novalis that I mentioned, and then there's the one on Gimmick Phase. That one okay. only shows five weapons if you find it before challenge mode, otherwise it will show all ten. Okay. So you, can, so you can just find it early, but you get less. Yeah, I guess. Okay. I'm just wondering if you can get all ten from the Novalis one, because if that's the case, yeah, that would explain why I never went up there. I know I did at least... Well, technically two playthroughs where I got all the gold weapons. Once on the PST way back in the day, and once on the Vita for the trophy. Hmm. But yeah, I guess the Persuader also lowers the price of them, too. That's cool. Gold bolt? Not in here. Damn. Okay, that's pretty cool. Thank you, Megan, <laughs> for finding that out for me. 
Hey Spike, welcome back to the stream. Hey Spike, welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today, friendo? He says Windex ad, that was so clean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good old Windex. I do like Windex as a cleaner, I'll be honest. I don't know, I, mean, I haven't used Windex in like a while. I mean, only for- like, I I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, I say I don't use it a lot. I know my mom used it a lot, but it's just a very good class cleaner. Oh, not quite. I don't know. Uh, to, a, to a degree, like, I don't know. I kind of stopped using Windex. Like, I don't know. I haven't really cleaned, like, windows in a long time. I know it might sound kind of weird, right? But I grew up in a house, well, even this one as well, actually, where you have a pretty high chance of, like, birds hitting the window. If it's like really clean yeah. so after that happened like a good few times i think it was just decided okay well you know for the sake of the birds the window can stay a little bit dirty not like a ton but can stay like a little bit dirty yeah that's fair like where it doesn't have to be like supremely clean because yeah birds will smack into that and you haven't had one die but the concern was always there. I always felt so bad when I saw them do that at my old house because I used to do that a lot because we had like a really big window in our living room. It was probably like, I want to say close to 10 feet tall and about six or seven feet wide. Mm -hmm. So it basically covered like the entire front wall of our living room. So every once in a while we get birds flying in because it's such a big area, but... Yeah, I don't want them to hurt themselves. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't want that. Man, can I ask you a small question? Yeah. Is that glow over there the glow of a golden bolt? It sparkles? Uh, it doesn't... I suppose it could be. I don't know how you would get on the other side of that. Mm. Maybe it is by the... Or the tube of the lava. I don't know. Cause like I've only seen those sparkles happen when there's a gold bolt and I get close and it goes away. How do I get That's in really there? That's really weird. <laughs> I don't know. Can I get in there? Decoy clip. <laughs> 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 I don't even know if it would work here to be honest. Mm. But... <laughs> See it I looks like you should be able there. to jump up there. Looks like I should be able to but I can't. Yeah. Spike says a bird was upstairs in my building like a month ago. <laughs> Burb. I know there was at least a couple times where I was shopping at our shopping mall here and I'd see the birds just kind of like walk in with people. And we have one area of the mall that's like kind of designed to be like almost like a European boulevard. So it just looks so funny because it almost looks like they're like outside, but they're not. Oh, you mean, um, what's that? Yeah. Nah. Uh, Spike says, middle of the night, I had to direct it into my room and then out into the open window with a well-placed flashlight. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Yeah, birds are cool. I like birds. See, I'm going away from the thing, though. How do I get there? How do I, how do I get there? That looked like that looked like it, dude. I mean, I feel like you weren't supposed to see that, but I don't know. You could take a look around. I mean, I probably wasn't supposed to see it, but like it was coming in through, you know, the window. Like it was sparkling. That's, you know, it, it was sparkling, Megan. Well, I know. At first, I thought it maybe it was just like regular bolts, but. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Spike says scared the shit out of me while I was walking to the bathroom though. I bet. Down at my old house, we used to get squirrels occasionally, like inside. That was always a piece of shit. See, I wouldn't like that. I don't even know how they got in. Like granted, that house was definitely not really doing super hot it, it it due to reasons namely stuff to do with my dad it, it kind of started falling apart and i don't know how the squirrels got in but just every now and then you'd have like a squirrel invade 
then uh, never the most fun. Can be maybe that isn't a gold bolt. No, those are just normal bolts. Yeah, you're right because I see them up there. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Damn. Damn, Megan. Damn. But yeah, it sucked. It, it sucked. It was always really like weird to see a squirrel in the house. It's like, you know, I gotta shoot him outside. And they're fast. Like they're fast little guys too. Um, and if I remember correctly, let me think if I remember correctly, I think a squirrel was actually one of the reasons one of my dogs almost got ran over. Uh, oh, yeah. because we had a, I, I think this was the same incident. I believe we had a squirrel in the house and mom was trying to shoot it out. So we opened up the, the main door, but we had two of our dogs. I think it might've actually been CC, Rolly and Streaky um, uh, behind a gate in a room. But we had our oldest dog, Eska, Peanut, had our oldest dog, Peanut. Mm. Who was out because he was you know pretty well behaved. He, he wouldn't run out, right? Um, but my mom was using a broom to try and get the squirrel out And I don't remember why but she like set the broom on up against a wall and She's doing something with uh, she's doing something I don't remember what And then the broom just kind of slowly started to fall over, right? And oh, the yeah. tip of the handle like fell and hit Peanut on the head, right? Oh. And Peanut, I guess, became really confused because he just kind of like looked around and then started wandering outside of the house. He just went out the door. And I'm like, Mom, Mom, Pe Mom, Peanut's going out the door. And then she's like, Oh no, because I was like with the other ones. I was trying to make sure the other ones like didn't try to, you know, go through the gate or something like that. And yeah, mom goes, oh shit. And then she like runs after him. And I guess from what she told me, like uh, a car, like he went onto the road and I guess someone maybe saw her like running towards the road and like stop. He might've seen the dog too. I don't quite remember. He might've seen Peanut, but I guess he like stopped very close to actually hitting Peanut. Oh. And then mom picked him up and he was like, she was like, oh yeah, thank you. You know, thank you so much for stopping, you know? And he was like, very like, yeah, you yeah, know, no problem. I wouldn't want to hit a dog. So it's like, yeah, that, that was quite the, quite the day, I will say. Yeah, I do think I vaguely remember your mom telling that story. Though I don't think she mentioned anything about the broom. Maybe she didn't know about that part. <laughs> nah, well, I don't know. She might, she might've forgotten. She is, yeah. That is true. Getting up there in her age. I'm oh, kidding. he's being rude to his mom, guys. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, I know. Um. Well, damn, where is this golden bolt? I don't know, Megan. Like, where else? Where do you think it might be? Like, you said with the lava bit, but like, like, I don't know. I don't know. Unless. Because I, I can't go down that... there. Cause I could have sworn there was like some kind of alternate path around this area. I just don't remember where it is. An alternate path around this area. Up there? Can't be, right? Maybe. Nah, it can't be. I don't think I could reach that. You sure there's not like a quick shot or anything? Aha, uh -huh, over there. Oh, it's there over there. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Megan. You're welcome. I say, because I vaguely remember something like that. I just couldn't remember where it was. Alright, sorry. I had to, had to pick up my water bottle. I accidentally knocked it over. Ooh. 
<laughs> I mean, it's okay. It had a cap on me. Don't worry. My, my water ain't spilling. Well, that's good. Uh... See, Bass Hacker says there were occasionally birds that hit our windows, but I don't think anyone into our house. It's kind of funny. You'd think it would be hard to miss, but it is, yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't, yeah. I don't know, man. Ha having wild animals come into your house, though, really, uh, really strange. Really strange experience. Yeah, I'm kind of grateful I've never had to deal with that myself. <laughs> I don't know what you would do, Megan, to be honest. I don't know what I would do either. Oh, I kind of wonder what you do if a mouse is in the house. Mm, no. Well, yeah, I'm wondering because, like, I don't know if you'd be... You'd probably be creeped out by it. No. No mouse in the house. I mean, I'm not saying I want mice in the house, but I don't like having mice in the house. It's not nice. Because you hear them, and you might hear them when you're sleeping. You might hear them squeak. Yes, I have had mice in the house before. That's why how I know all this. Uh, sometimes they just get in. So that's the weird thing with mice. Like, you don't even need to have, like... I don't know. Like, I feel like a lot of people will associate, like, mice with just, like, being, like, dirty in general, right? So it's like, oh, your house must be, like, you know, very dirty and very unkept. I'm not saying anyone's ever told me this. I'm just assuming that's what a lot of people think when it comes to mice. But it's like, that's actually not really true. They'll just get in. Like, they'll just go anywhere they can, you know? Well, yeah. And then they'll just come in. Haven't had any in this house. Because this house, as far as I know, is very, very mouse-proof. Uh, but I've had mice. I've had, I've had mice in previous houses before. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying. And, you know, the thing, like, Megan Legonso, one of the worst things is, though... As if you're just like hanging out and chilling and just out the corner of your eye, you see something move, right? You see something like move along the wall. That's honestly the worst part of having a mouse in the house is that you just, just no, vaguely notice them out the corner of your eye. And then the second worst thing is when it's nighttime and you hear them like wrestling around and moving a little bit. Yeah. You hear them like chew on stuff. Or you hear them get freaked out and go squeak, 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 squeak. Yeah, I, I can tell Megan isn't liking the sound of that either. No, I don't. Uh, Best Hacker says, except if you live in Alberta. Well, with rats, yes. We don't have rats in Alberta. Rats we don't have. No. Mice we do. We do have mice. Uh, rats would be so much worse, though. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want rats. Yeah, I, I wouldn't like rats either. Spike says, my parents had a mouse in the basement some years back. I gave it some pizza crust and it wasn't scared of me. Yeah, you know, my, mice can be like that, weirdly enough. My, mice don't always, like, they get comfy. Like, there even times in, in my old house, well, one of my old houses, where, like, mom would say she was sitting in the living room, the dogs would be right there, the mouse would just go on past, the dogs would not care. <laughs> When, you know, you think normally they would. You'd think it'd be like, oh, mouse, better chase it, better kill it, something like that. Right? But no, they just didn't care. They would just, like, watch the mouse go by. And it's like, oh. Oh, dogs are weird. Like, even even the dogs we have, like, even my dogs now currently are really strange for that. Because, like, they'll see a person walk by. If they notice it, they bark, right? Like, making can attest to this. They'll bark, you know? Yeah. But mailman comes up or a delivery guy comes with a package, absolutely no sound. They do not bark at all. They make no sound when, when a delivery guy comes. See, I find they even act that way kind of with me. Because, like, if I'm walking in front of the house, like, on the sidewalk or something, they won't bark until I actually step on the path to walk towards the house a lot of the time. Mm hmm Not all the time, but... Yeah, but they don't bark at delivery men. I don't get it. They always bark at me. <laughs> it is really strange. I'm not too sure what, what their deal is, but meh, you know, whatever. Because sometimes I rely on them to tell me when a delivery man's here. And then <laughs> mom will be like, and then, what was that? And then they don't. <laughs> yeah, and then they don't. Like, there are so many times, actually, when mom would be like, how'd you miss this package? Don't you listen to dogs? I'm like, mom, the dogs don't bark at them. <laughs> Maybe it's something about their clothes or their uniform. Maybe. I'll serve Clank. No. <laughs> no goofball. 
It's me, Ratchet. What happened? You got toasted by lightning. This place is having one heck of a storm. You won't be safe out there. I'll be right back. Now we're going without Clank? Did going Clankless. Yeah. Well, damn. What do I do now without my best buddy Clank? You just gotta do. <laughs> uh, what's the skybox look for this planet? Pretty you know cool. what? Yeah, pretty okay though. Yeah, it was kind of yeah, cool. <laughs> All right. Um. So I guess this way. I don't see any other paths on the outset. Oh, ah, what's this? A Tesla claw. 30,000, huh? Hmm. That is my favorite weapon in the game. <laughs> is it? Oh, okay. Well, I'll be sure to get it then. Yeah. It's really good. Uh, so Spike says, a uh, different story in my place. Caught one by hand, dropped it out <laughs> my second story window. The grass was overgrown, so it was a soft landing. Oh. I mean, to be fair, even if it didn't have grass, I think the mouse would still probably be okay. They can survive pretty high falls. Yeah, that generally seems to be the case with smaller creatures in general. Yeah, I don't remember why that is. I think it's because, like, inertia or something, like, because the size of their body, they're not falling. I, there, There is, like, science behind it. I remember there was a video that explained it once really well. I think it might have been um, Curse Kazat, actually. Yeah, I think so. It has something to do with, like, the volume of their body compared to the weight and how much force it has when they fall. Obviously, something big like an elephant, you know, is going to get pretty hurt falling because it's really heavy. But I don't remember it well enough to fully explain it. Yeah, same. <laughs> Bass actresses, how could you ever recover? Yeah. <laughs> Poor little mouse, I'm sure he did fine. Mouse is like, squeak. Oh, Spike said second one was caught by a trap. It did not survive. Yeah. Yeah, that'll also certainly happen. I don't know, I've really done traps, actually. Um... Well, used to. Used to do, like, most traps when we've needed to. But, you know, I don't know. Um, seeing the dead mouse always kind of hard uh, on someone like my mom, especially. Oh. So I think we eventually phased that out. And we just went with, like, a type of poison. I don't remember what poison it is. But the way mom describes it is just they eat it and then they go off and die somewhere. Yeah. And to be fair, I don't know, maybe they die in the house, but I mean, I don't know. Every mouse that's gotten poisoned by that never see the body. So I don't know what happens. They just go off and they die. So, man, these guys are assholes. They are. Uh, Spike says they were living in the back of my fridge making noises every night. I was losing sleep. Oh no, that sounds horrible. That does sound pretty annoying. Also, Bath Actress says, would you want them to die in the house? I mean, ideally, no. Like, ideally, no? I don't know. I guess to me, it's just kind of weird because, like, you'd think, like, oh, they, like, surely they don't just go off and die. Man, how does this guy's even fair? Yeah, they're Excuse kind of annoying. You kind of have to use like the gloves of doom or like just run up and hit them kind of thing before they charge up their weapons. Go kill them, boys. They are assholes. You can also jump over it too. Oh, okay. It almost looked like it was kind of tracking, so I wasn't really too sure on that. Okay, at least I'm pretty sure you can just jump over them. Uh, Spike says I can't get behind glue traps though. I think they're inhumane. I think they're really mm. cruel. Yeah. 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 I don't like your glue traps. I would say for me poison number one if you can't do poison just do classic mouse trap glue traps are a no-go Yeah
Um, because I mean, even though mice can be little assholes, eh, they're still animals, and it, you know, it's it's not like they're doing it to be a pain in the ass. They're just you know living. They're just they're just mice. They're doing what they do. Can't really fault them for that. Yeah, no, I, I just see glue traps as pretty bad because it's just like they're just trying to get food or whatever They get stuck on something and then they literally have to like try and force themselves off of this Probably like ripping off their skin and really hurting themselves and just dying literally because they starve, right? Yeah Yeah, it's very very no bueno I don't know, it just seems like a very slow and horrible way to kind of die Die from dehydration and, and starvation <laughs> uh, Spike says, except fly traps, but those are bugs. Yeah, the fly traps aren't terrible. I don't think they really survived too long on there, but. I mean, hell, flies generally live like maybe a couple weeks, just in general. So, yeah, really? like, they don't live very long. Well, I thought they only lived like 48 hours or something. Like, it was really short. Maybe I'm thinking of aphids. I think aphids I'm, might be 48 hours. I mean, it might be like 48 hours. I, I can't really say, to be honest. I just know they don't live very long. That's my extent of fly knowledge. Uh, so apparently the lifespan of a housefly is 28 days. Oh, okay. They generally live 15 to 30 days, depending on the temperature and living conditions. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was maybe only like a week too, but maybe it was just like a, a rumor on Nation X. I'm seeing a decent amount of articles here talking about how they only live like 24 hours. It's probably just common misconception, like goldfish and their memories. <laughs> the Mandela effect in action. <laughs> I mean, always a possibility. Ooh, Grand Rail, nice. I had been losing a bit. Yeah, it's been a while since we've actually had a good grind rail. Question marks abound. Also, a place over there that I don't think I can get to normally. Ooh. Okay, that should be cool. Uh, all right, grind rail. Let's go. If I can touch it. There we go. We and the fun is over. Okay, you're right. You can jump over it. But it still seems rather difficult, I'm not gonna lie. Well, it is when there's lots of them there, right? Uh, Spastic says I heard mayflies live for a day. That's true, maybe it's a different breed of fly. Uh, Spike says, I saw an animal rescue video where kittens got stuck in a glue trap in an alley. It was heartbreaking. Oh no! <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. A lot of animal rescue videos are also very sketch. I don't know. I know a lot of them are like faked for the views. Or so I've heard anyway. Allegedly. I can see that for some of them, but I really hope they're not actually hurting animals to try and make fake videos. So that's horrible. Well, see, that's why that's why you see like these um, occasionally these like essay videos pop up where they're like, or, you know, uh, animal rescue videos are basically just abuse because they're forcing the animal into a really bad position just so they can get, like, e clout. So oh. I've always saved the animal. Yeah. I don't know about the one that Spice watch, that Spike watched. That one might be legit. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if some of them are for reals. Well, I'm sure some of them are, but... It's probably more fake ones than we probably would expect. Yeah, probably. Uh, Spike says it was from a reputable channel. So yeah, it was probably fine then. It was probably fine. Oh, did I get it? I guess I got it by accident. Did he, did he just fly away? I don't know. I guess he did. Huh. <laughs> okay, I was like, but I didn't see where he went. Uh, Fast Sakura says, anyways, I'll be heading out about now. Uh, some of them are fake, but YouTube has no problem showing regular animal abuse. Alright, well, take care, Fast Sakura. Have a good night. Yes, thank you very and... much for stopping by. Yeah, sorry. Have a... No, it's okay. What are you sorry for? No, it's fine. No, what are you sorry for? Explain. Explain yourself. 
Well, I was just going to say it. Obviously, the animal abuse isn't good either, but I kind of like paused really weirdly, so you thought I was done. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that's fair. You just don't need to apologize, but that's true. I thought you were done. No, it's okay. Might Not be. Fault. Oh, you almost missed. Almost. Okay, uh, my. Spike says, oh. I know the talking about Nick Crowley did some videos on fakers and stuff that people really knew <laughs> uh sorry and stuff those people did nearly made me puke it was putrid that's awful that is pretty bad also because I didn't get to say it because I thought Megan was still talking I will catch you later Bass Ackerts thank you Megan no don't don't make oh. those sounds I'm sorry thank you very much Bass Ackerts for watching I hope you enjoy time with your family and I'll catch you later friendo thanks I'm Megan sorry. <laughs> Megan's like anyway <laughs> No. <laughs> For some reason, I thought you already said goodbye. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of did, but I, I don't know. That felt more half-assed to me, so I wanted to give uh, a proper goodbye. That's fair. Ooh. I hate these things. These things suck, man. I guess they only look in one direction, though. Kind of. So I guess they're kind of easy to get past. Yeah, and they couldn't do kind of pop back into their holes when you walk far enough away. Yeah. Okay, what did, what did Spike say? I'm sorry. Oh, Nick Crowdy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, no, that is pretty bad. I also remember, I don't know, man, people do weird things for clout, you know? Like, I remember seeing this one video where um, this guy, like, I guess there's a train coming or something, and the guy, like, goes on the track, and he picks up this kitten and is like, Oh, let me take oh. it away from the train track. But uh, I guess it was found out that the train was CGI'd in. Oh. So there was actually no train. Oh. Uh, so it's like, oh, okay. Sure, I guess. Those people are horrible human beings. <laughs> I don't know. Some people just want to be like, yeah, I want people to see me as a, as a cool guy, as a hero. But, you know, no. Don't go faking that kind of stuff, because, you know, it'll get found out, and when it is, then you just look like an idiot. <laughs> and then that's online forever. <laughs> you know, so... Yeah. Yeah, like, that, that, yeah, just be yourself. Don't don't worry about rescuing cats or kittens or whatever, you know. I'm sure, like, that's good. Like, do it if it's actually a thing you can do. Don't go faking it, and don't go hurting animals to fake it. That just makes you an asshole. Yeah. Ow. Oh. Hit these things. Oh, he almost got you. <laughs> almost. Almost. Not quite. So I came from this way. Man, what the hell is what's what's this planet? What? It's testing your platforming skills because you don't have plank. I mean, yeah, that's fair. I don't mind that. Like, give me a checkpoint a bit closer. Like, come on, game, you know. This is a bit of a difficulty spike. I'll be honest. I've always kind of struggled with Fultanus. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I'm just gonna speed through because I'm wasting too much ammo. I've come to the decision that. You know, I, I've spent too much ammo on these things, and I won't do that anymore. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run through and not carry more. Speed run. Either I get hit and injured, or I manage to make it through. Uh, Spike says I believe the primary fake rescue channel was indeed banned. Well, that's good. That is good. Cause yeah, that would be no bueno. Oh, you did see it. That's good. I did. As I was running this way, I was like, oh, there's a thing there. Oh, you can get a sand mite. I mean a sand mouse. Yeah, sand mouse. Thanks. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> it's been too long. Ah I mean, it was two months. Yeah, so I doesn't... that was the meme of last stream, though. <laughs> yeah, that was last stream's meme. That's why I said it was two months. Now it's a technically new meme. That doesn't like, make it new. Technically I'm sure, new. I'm sure Spike would agree with me. That doesn't make it new. 
but technically new. I hate this. <laughs>